Could you outline the main challenges to long-term fiscal sustainability in Scotland? So the, the thing I was talking about today was looking at uh, fiscal sustainability. So questions about how might some of the big grand challenges that face societies, climate change, demographics, um, impact on government budgets. And what I was talking about today was just looking through the, the lens of Scotland about how, how some of these might play out. And we know, for example, that Scotland's population is is older than, on average, older than in the rest of the UK and projected to increase in age more rapidly than the rest of the UK. So we talked about some of these issues and how they might play out into pressures on government's budgets. How can Scotland manage these budget risks? I think the key is to a, understand what these risks are and that sounds quite obvious but actually for policymakers in a world where things are really quite complex is, is not always easy. So first of all it's to understand them and secondly really to rely I think on a lot of evidence about where the decisions need to be taken as early as possible in order to prepare for these changes. So things like demographic ageing is it's a fantastic success story in many ways of our modern economy that we're all living longer but that has an implication so thinking about how you potentially manage the not just on the budget side but also broader economy and society for an aging population um, are the key areas I think we need to focus on as early as possible. Could you tell us about the Scottish Fiscal Commission its roles its responsibilities and the role it plays in particular in terms of managing these budget risks? So we are, the Scottish Fiscal Commission are Scotland's independent fiscal authority and we're essentially set up to produce official forecasts for the Scottish economy and um, official forecasts for revenues and devolved social securities to, to bring a bit of rigour and impartiality to the whole budget process. And I think part of the aim is by doing this analysis in a really transparent way, an open way, an inclusive way, and try and engage with as many people as possible, we can hopefully shed light on some of these big sustainability questions and then hopefully encourage policymakers and politicians to essentially think about how they respond to these challenges. What can other countries learn from the Scottish experience? I think it's fascinating and I think we, we talked a bit about um, the last couple of days about Alex Cairncross who, who was instrumental to setting up the Scottish Economic Society and what was fascinating back in his day is that he was using Scotland as a case study to think about issues around development of economic statistics, of economic policy, regional policy and I think that many of the issues that we're dealing with in Scotland around fiscal sustainability are transferable to any other country. These frameworks are quite unique, of course, every country is different, but some of the principles about how you share risks with things like climate change or demographics, how you manage these risks, how you build good effective frameworks for governments to balance these risks and work together, I think are lessons that are transferable to anywhere.